Hi everyone, I'm Mike Leiden with International Academy of Consciousness. I'm here today to interview Massimiliano Sassole de Bianchi, who's going to be a speaker at the first International Congress of Conscientiology, which means consciousness science from a post-materialist and multidimensional point of view. Massimiliano is a physicist by trade, and he received his PhD degree in physics from the Federal Institute of Technology in Lausanne in 1995. His uh, focus was on time observables and quantum scattering theory, and his research activities are currently focused on the foundations of physics, quantum theory, and consciousness. Massimiliano <clears throat> has written several essays, popular science books, children's stories, and has published numerous research articles in international journals, both in physics and the study of consciousness. He is, a is a life member of the American Physical Society and the American Association of Physics Teachers, as well as a full member of the Society for Scientific Exploration and the International Academy of Consciousness. He's currently the director of the LAB, the Laboratory of Basic Self-Research, and the editor of the journal Autoriceda. And so his uh, presentation talk at the ICC is Taking Quantum Physics and Consciousness Seriously, What Does It Mean? So first I want to ask, what question do you hope to answer with your talk? And secondly, what do you feel like your talk is going to contribute to consciousness science on the whole? The main problem I'd like to address in my talk can be exemplified by what I like to call the dilemma of the bookseller. Today, a bookseller receiving a new book on quantum physics may be really in doubt whether to put it on the shelf dedicated to physics or to the shelf devoted to spirituality. And this, I think, perfectly illustrates the confusion often existing among laymen, of course, but also among some experts regarding the fundamental differences of certain fields of inquiry, such as modern physics and spirituality, and more specifically, quantum mechanics and the study of consciousness. Now, part of this confusion can certainly be considered as the fair price to be paid in the process of creation of a more unitary vision of our reality. But let us not forget that a non-illusionary process of unification of, of different disciplines can only be realized if based not so much on the recognition of uh, their similarities, but above all of their differences, as only then it becomes possible to build solid bridges between them and promote a truly interdisciplinary vision and sometimes even a transdisciplinary vision. I think that the loosely defined concept of Quantum consciousness, today quite trendy by the way, perfectly exemplifies this difficulty. The majority of scientists today are convinced that no one understands quantum mechanics and in the same way no one understands consciousness. But this does not seem to prevent the use in combination with the hope that the superposition of two mysteries will magically produce an explanation. Now, let me be clear, I do not mean by this that uh, quantum physics will be unable to promote a better understanding of the phenomenon of the consciousness, and vice versa. However, I am convinced that this cross-fertilization will become possible only to the extent that both fields will be taken with due seriousness. And in my talk, I will try to explain that to take quantum physics and consciousness seriously means to fully address the challenges with which they confront us in their specific ambits and then accept without biases the world visions that follow. And once we have done that, uh, then we can certainly consider the similarity that are shared by both quantum physics and the manifestation of the consciousness. Uh, explore this similarity and try to understand then if they are on the apparent or the expression of a deeper isomorphism. 
One of the goals of my talk is precisely to highlight the importance of this methodological approach and its consequences in our attempt to construct a more complex and I would say more mature vision of our reality. Now, regarding my personal contribution to consciousness research, well, for the time being, I think it mainly consists in pointing out that quantum physics and consciousness, when taking, taken seriously enough, both point to the existence of larger non-spatial realities, which extend beyond our ordinary three-dimensional Euclidean theater. But also that this doesn't mean necessary that the quantum extraphysical reality and the consciential extraphysical reality would necessarily be the same, as, by the way, is often assumed. Also, uh, my contribution is about pointing out that uh, the recent progresses in so-called quantum cognition, which has nothing to do with the theory of the quantum brain, and the recently proposed conceptuality interpretation of quantum mechanics, uh, they can possibly shed some new light onto the natural, the mysterious natural, of those non-ordinary reality that we are able to experience when we are in more expanded states of consciousness. And this, by the way, is something I will also try to explain. All right, Massimiliano, thank you for your time, and I will see you there at the campus. For more information, check out the links below. Thanks.